It's not the Guinness. Many of Ireland's bees might be on their way out. According to the Irish Times, one third of Ireland's 98 bumblebee species are facing extinction. The Irish Mirror reports that 21 species of bees are crucial to the environment as they provide pollination for crops and flowers. The findings were procured from data going back six years that looks at 100 sites with eight of the most common bumblebees. According to the Irish Times, the bee population lowered at a rate of 3.7 percent per year since 2012. An ecologist told the Irish Mirror that prior to 1960, rare species like the great yellow bumblebee, red-shanked carter bee, and shrill carter bee used to be present across Ireland. Now they are found only on the Irish West Coast. Reasons for the dwindling bee population, according to the Irish Mirror, are habitat loss, pesticides, climate change, and starvation brought about by decline in wildflowers. Here's more on bugs. What the fly? A giant insect said to be the world's biggest mosquito, discovered in southwestern China last August, will be on display at a museum next month. Reported by China's Xinhua News, entomologist Zhao Li discovered the giant critter at Qingcheng Mountain in China's Sichuan province last August. Holorusia micado, also known as the crane fly, belongs to the world's largest mosquito species, Holorusia, and has a 5 cm long body and a wingspan of 11.15 cm. First discovered and named by British entomologist John Westwood in Japan in 1876, the mosquito is said to be the largest of the mosquitoes with an average wingspan of 8 cm. Zhao said that despite the fly's horrific look, they do not feed on blood. The adults have a lifespan of only a few days and mainly feed on nectar. Zhao, who is also a curator of the Insect Museum of West China, told local media Sichuan Online that the crane fly will now go on display at his museum as part of an exhibition about strange insects in May. This ant is explosive. Mess with these bugs, Tomo sapiens, and they'll quite literally try to blow you up by tearing themselves a new one. Research published in the journal Zoo Keys tells of a new species of exploding ant found in Southeast Asia's jungles. More specifically, they're found in Borneo, Thailand, and Malaysia. They remained unknown until now because scientists simply didn't know how many types of exploding ants there are. Earlier research in Zoo Keys reckons there may be at least 15 kinds, including these guys. Called Colobopsis explodens, the ant's body is filled with sacks of deadly toxic substance. They are minor workers in colonies. The lead researcher in the study told the Washington Post that these ants attack threats to their nest by biting them and then moving their posterior toward its body. This is kind of like how a wasp moves in for a sting. Next comes the nasty stuff. The ants will flex their muscles so hard that their skin will burst and release the fluid all over the threat. But in doing so, the ants also kill themselves. Or in other words, it'll squeeze until its own butt explodes and shower its enemy with its poisonous, gooey innards. According to the Post, it smells like curry. That'll either nullify or cripple whatever nest invader decides to show, but if the intruder is somehow still alive, then they've got the big guys plus the rest of the colony to deal with. Next, the threat would meet these massively headed insects. These are the colony's major ant workers and act as the second line of defense. According to Nat Geo, these types of ants are mostly female. Ants are superorganisms. Unlike individually minded beings, ant colonies think and act as one. So, in a way, death of the exploding ants is similar to what humans would call taking one for the team. But in their case, one being a kaboom and the team being your millions of siblings. Keep calm and stay away from the oak trees. Droves of white-haired caterpillars have invaded the British capital, with experts warning they can trigger allergic reactions in humans and pets. UK officials have issued a health warning following an outbreak of toxic caterpillars of the oak processionary moth across London and southeast England. The species is a native of southern Europe, but was accidentally introduced to Britain via imported live oaks in 2005. Each caterpillar contains 62,000 hairs, which are full of spines that can prick skin. They can be released from the body and stay active for up to five years. The hairs contain an irritating substance that can cause skin rashes, eye irritation, sore throats, and breathing difficulties. The British Forestry Commission has begun using biopesticides to help eliminate the caterpillars and have cautioned residents against letting children or pets near affected areas. Traps will also be set for the invasive insects around the 150 hotspots identified by the commission. Don't forget your bug spray this summer. 
According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the number of Americans becoming sick from mosquito, tick, and flea bites has more than tripled from 2004 through 2016. The CDC said over 96,000 diseases caused by mosquito, tick, and flea bites were reported in 2016, up from over 27,000 in 2004. Zika was the most common disease carried by ticks, mosquitoes, and fleas reported in 2016, with over 41,000 cases, followed by more than 36,000 cases of Lyme disease. The surge in infections may be the result of global warming, with warmer temperatures and shorter winters boosting mosquitoes mosquito, tick, and flea populations. According to the CDC, the increases in cases are due to several factors, including growing insect populations that transmit the diseases and increased exposure to U.S. travelers abroad who unknowingly transport the infections back into the country. The CDC also said that more than 80 percent of vector control organizations across the states don't have the capacity to contain these fast-spreading illnesses. Well, that's good to know. Study shows 76 percent drop in flying bug populations. Bugs, while icky, are critical to nature and new research indicates they might be in decline. The research looked at the biomass of flying insects inside 63 German nature reserves. It found that between 1989 and 2016, the reserve's total flying insect population had declined by an average of 76 percent. The cause of the massive drop is unclear, but the fact the insects vanished at such a high rate has scientists concerned. The researchers say their findings could be representative of other areas around the world. Nature needs bugs, and we need nature. And if there's no nature, well, the planet becomes Mars 2.0. China is developing a mosquito radar. Chinese scientists are working on new radar technology to track mosquitoes. According to the South China Morning Post, the radar emits electromagnetic waves on many frequencies. The device reportedly uses technology from China's missile defense system. When these electromagnetic waves come in contact with the insect, they are bounced back toward the radar with data on the mosquito. This information reportedly includes what species a mosquito belongs to, as well as its gender, flight speed, and direction. Another researcher unassociated with the project explained it may be more difficult to detect a mosquito than an F-22. This is because the differences in structure and movements. Background noise may also make it difficult to track mosquitoes via radar. IKEA wants you to eat these to save the earth. Furniture giant IKEA has created a new version of their foods in an attempt to save the earth, except the food is all made from insects. To beat a looming global food crisis, IKEA's Innovation Research Lab Space 10 in Copenhagen, Denmark, has been experimenting with various food alternatives. The meatballs have been redesigned as crispy bug balls. These edible balls are made from a variety of ingredients, including mealworms. The bug burger, made with beetroot, parsnip, potatoes, and a dollop of mealworms, are topped with blackcurrant and beetroot ketchup. And there's also the dogless hot dog, where meat is substituted with baby carrots topped with seaweed and a bright green bun made from algae. Although eating insects is still quite strange to many, IKEA's food lab said the dishes should not just be healthy or sustainable, but they must be delicious as well. And to inspire people to try new ingredients, they have to titillate the taste buds.